Plus, I'm so high on coffee right now. I am too high on coffee. Okay. So, this morning, my Sony CV1X camera, wait, my adjustment pants. Camera just came in, and before I use it, I want to open it on camera. I'm too excited. Plus, I'm on coffee too, so. I'm like more excited than I probably would have been normally. Anyway, so the box is just really small. So that already tell me that just like I saw in the reviews, the camera gonna be extremely small and light as I heard. So that's what I'm expecting. I bought the white one and I bought the white one and I'm kind of worried if I'm going to get it dirty. And then the tripod that I got on top of it is the black tripod. So it's probably going to look awkward, but I don't know. I just kind of want the white one. Plus, the white one's going to look more obvious in public, which is going to kind of make. I feel like I'm talking more now because I want coffee. Oh, and if I turn on the ring light, it looks too extra. I'll keep it off. Anyways, so the reason why I got the camera, because they say, oh, if you're starting vlogging, you don't need like an actual vlog camera you can just use your phone and blah 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 and yeah i hear that and i think it's true or whatever but i just feel like maybe because my iphone is iphone 12 i just feel like the quality not as good as the person who has the iphone 14 and then i don't really want to change my phone now <laughs> and i feel like might as well just get the camera right i'm taking stuff off but anyway so when I open the box, they have this paper thing inside right here. And I'm going to just, it's the manual or whatever. And then the other stuff. And then they have the camera right here. Not really much to say. So let me pull it out. Look. It's so cute. Hold on, am I being extra? It feels okay, 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 okay. All right, I'm excited. I'm a vlogger now. Okay, 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 wait, wait. I don't even know if I'm holding it upside down or not, but like, I'm not that tech person, so I can't really like say that this is this and that and the third, but this is just how it looks. And I don't know why I felt like it was going to be lighter because everybody says it's light, but then maybe those persons know how other cameras feel. But I feel like it just feel like it says, like that's it. But yeah, let me turn it on. Wait, is it charged? Oh no, that's not the on button. I think it's dead. Lodge some. I have to charge it first. Oh wait, no. Probably the battery not even in it. Sorry, help me. You can know I'm, you can tell I'm not a tech person. Oh, this is the um the microphone, the fuzzy microphone. Okay, the windbreaker or whatever they call it. Okay, this must be the battery. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. So okay. Now it's in. Lord help me. Okay. Okay. Is it touch screen? It's touch screen. I didn't know this. All right, I'm gonna do all of this and then come back. I'm back probably two hours later after setting up everything and putting on the tripod. This is the tripod I was talking. I think they have a white version, 
but I only saw the black available and I got it. So it kind of looked awkward. It will look more neat if it was white, but yeah. But anyways, here it is, all set up and everything. I'm a new vlogger, new vlogger on the streets. The battery dropped one, one bar already. It was just full, or maybe it wasn't full, full. But yeah, so I'll be like this. I'm excited. I'm excited. The only thing now is to get over the awkwardness of vlogging in public, because more than likely, it'd be boring if I'm just vlogging at home. But yeah, so now I'm gonna switch to the camera because all right, do you see and hear a difference? Look at me, you vlogger. I still don't know how it actually sounds yet until I load it on the laptop. But as of now, I like the imaging. But yeah, what's the first thing I'm gonna do? Maybe the first thing I should do is put on my contacts. All right, I'm gonna properly start my day now, and the first thing I decide that I want to record on this new camera because I'm excited. It's the first couple weeks of what my hell is. So it's the first week of a new month. So the first thing that I need to do is change my contacts, and I'm just checking out and testing the audio and the visual of the camera now. So yeah, that's just what I'm about to do. So the brand contacts that I use is the, how you pronounce this? Acuve Vita? Wait. All right, so I technically have two packs. So I have one for the right and one for the left eye and it's six that come in there. So it's six months worth because it's the monthly contacts that I wear. So the first thing I need to do, Wash my hands. This is my contacts case. It's from the company that I ordered from. But anyway. So I removed my old lens. And I don't trash them because for this weird reason, I'm storing my old lens so that I can make some weird art in the end. So I kind of keep them in the medicine cabinet right here. I know that's weird and I don't even know what art I'm planning on doing, but I feel like I'm gonna glue them on like a canvas and make up some image. I don't know what it's going to be, but I've been storing my old lenses for a while. And then I need to figure out which eye is which. So I think my right eye is worse than my left. Wait, so this one works. Yeah, so this one is for this eye. Nothing like a pair of fresh eyes. <laughs> oh god, I'm so crazy. Oh God, and for my left, um. all right, so things way brighter. I, so the glasses I was wearing, am I even looking in the right place? Hold on, let me switch this. All right, so the pair of glasses I was wearing before, I've had these from 2018. And I just feel like I transitioned, by the time these were expired, I transitioned to the contact lenses. So then I really just wear these in the house. And, and overall, just not that often. So, and the frame and everything is still strong and sturdy. So I just didn't change it yet. But for now, that's what it is. All right, so I just spent a crazy long time trying to set up the camera and it still didn't work. So 
I think I'm just gonna hold it for this part. I feel like the best way to to do a first vlog is to just make it be an intro. So even if somebody in the future catch like a later vlog, they'll always have this one to kind of like know who this girl is. Because I'm just like on the internet making videos and nobody knows who I am. So what I'll do, I found some questions on Pinterest, which because just talking off the top of my head, I might miss some of the things I want to say. Using some questions that I found on Pinterest that's like about get to know me would be like a good way to break the ice but overall this is my second time trying youtube my first time trying youtube was probably like seven years ago um i've always been like a youtube person in fact youtube is probably the main thing that i watch over like netflix and hulu and all of those other streams i, I can call myself a youtube girl and like I just always wanted to be like a creator and everything and I tried it before and multiple things stopped me. One like I was listening to outside people too much that were like telling me do it like this, don't do it like that, don't do it like that, whatever. And that kind of discouraged me and let me just get fed up. I hope you guys can understand me because sometimes I'm going to like go into my Jamaican language which that will probably come out in the question section. But yeah, I was listening to people too much. And then now, in retrospect, thinking back on my personality and how much I did not know who I was then, I'm kind of glad that I didn't do it then. Because I'd probably turn into a direction that I wouldn't be happy about today. And then after that, I just felt like the whole YouTube thing is saturated. And everybody's going on and da-da-da. And that was kind of discouraging, which it should not be um, a reason to not go ahead and do what you want to do. But then I would be watching other YouTubers start and then they'd blow up and then I would think it's too late because that happened to like another mass of people who join. And then I just keep seeing the different cycles and then I think like, okay, you know what? I should just start because it's really something I've always wanted to do. And oh, I just remember the third reason why I never continued is because I was in school and I was in pharmacy school, which is extremely time consuming. So I don't feel like I would have had the time and the energy to make school a priority and then be a YouTuber at the same time. So let's jump into these questions so maybe I can like let you guys know who I am and so forth. All right, so the first question is, where are you from? So I'm Jamaican. If you didn't hear it in my accent yet. So I'm from Moko Clarendon. A lot of times when we see Jamaicans in America and you ask them like where in Jamaica they come from, everybody say Kingston. To the, you reach the point where I'm like, everybody can come from Kingston. So people usually just like not be honest or I feel like the other person won't know where they're from if they told them. So they just cut the conversation in half and say you're from Kingston and some people also have like shame or some form of embarrassment towards where they're from because they don't want the other people to know that they come from bush or the real rural part but not me I tell everybody I'm from Mocha Clarendon and if you're from Jamaica you know that's the most bush of bush I hope I'm not offending anybody from Mocha by saying that but yeah so I grew up in Montego Bay. So I went to primary school, not prep school. I went to primary school, I went to Howard Cook Primary School. Then I went to the Mount Alvernia High School. And then I went to Montego Bay Community College. And then I went to the University of West Indies. Otherwise known as UWE. And from UWE, I transferred my credits and I went to the Long Island University in Brooklyn, New York, which is where I studied pharmacy. What are your hobbies? My hobbies, what I really love, I love to spend time with friends like I like to just be in an environment around people that I love their energy where everything is light and not too fussy I really just like being some places where I'm comfortable but that's not a hobby but I like being in the presence of my friends and like in that zone okay I didn't know that I like to read until recently so I'm usually so consumed with school that the only reading that I did was school-related content. But now that I'm out of school, I'm finding myself 
reading books about like life and self-help and self-care and like mindset books and books on finances and stuff i don't like reading storybooks what's that i don't like reading stories or whatever people made up in their head i like reading books on either somebody's life so it's a bibliography or autobiography and i like reading just books on finances whatever it is so like for let, let me show you because i actually put this book here so the book i'm now reading which is very like popular on the internet or in the tiktok and youtube space is how to win friends and influence people by dale carnage i hope i'm saying his name right now the title of this book is like a big turn off because i feel uncomfortable reading this book around people that don't know about the content of it because it looks like a desperate book it says how to influence and influence people the influence people all right probably okay but how to influence friends just seem like you desperately want friends and everything but overall, it's just really teaching you how to interact with people and really just get that positive experience where both parties can leave a conversation or a discussion feeling good or not having any form of dislike towards each other. So really, it's just teaching you to be peaceful and how to really influence the way how people see you or people view you in more of a positive light. Kind of like that. Another hobby that I have though, since I have it right here, is journaling. Um, this is my diary or journal. And if you know me from like high school days or before, you know I've always had a book, writing or whatever in my diary. Somehow in my movement from Montego Bay to Kingston or to the US, my, my diaries got lost or I don't know, some... And it really discouraged me from continuing to write. So I haven't been journaling for like years. And then I had an iPad with a with a pencil and I was like kind of journaling on my iPad. But then you don't get the same effect that you get when you're actually writing in a book. Yeah, like literally a month ago, on February 6th, I decided to buy a new journal and I've been having fun writing and everything. The next question is, how would you define success? Success, in my opinion, is when you work hard enough towards a goal and then you're reaping the benefits of that. Whatever it is, success is basically whatever you do that make you feel good when you finish it and you finalize it and it's giving you that level of peace and it's the peace for you, not anybody else's reasoning of success for you. What is your love language? My love language is physical touch and words of affirmation. The next question is what makes you angry? I think that's a good question because recently I've been working on my tolerance and just anything that annoys me and tries to get me upset or whatever. Because really and truly anger is you. When you're angry because of somebody else's actions or something that's out of your control, you're giving energy towards something that's out of your means and getting angry is just making the situation worse for you it's best to just stay calm and there's if it didn't kill you you can definitely find a way around it or out of it so what angers me now probably i would say if i tell somebody something that bothers me and tomorrow they do it again like i never say anything to them I feel like that and that will make me angry but as I say I'm trying to like find ways to not give people that power over me anymore you know what kind of music do you like I'm Jamaican so I like Jamaican music dancehall I like pop really and truly any music that sound good Afrobeats really banging now though Afrobeats really the the ish right now what is my greatest achievement? It's crazy because I just mentioned success. The point I made on success earlier. My greatest achievement thus far is probably just my schooling. I just graduated pharmacy school. So now I'm a doctor of pharmacy. And it feels awkward to say that. But I mean, I'm quite happy about it. 
even though I'm not really using the qualification, I'm trying to do everything in my power to not end up in a pharmacy. <laughs> it was really a very, it was really a long, long process and I'm happy that I finished because <laughs> a lot of people actually either decide to quit because of their own reasons, maybe they found out it wasn't for them. I could have fallen in that category as well because it's not really my deepest passion. It links to my passion, but it's not my deepest passion, which is why I'm trying my best not to be a regular retail pharmacist, but it would be my biggest achievement thus far. I have many, 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 many more places to go. What did you want to be when you were smaller? When I was small, I wanted to be a teacher because both my parents are educators and I really grew up watching them in their work setting. You know how a lot of persons, like your parents go to work, you know they're, they're at work and you might know, hear about what they do, but that's it. I actually grew up following both my parents to work. So I remember following my dad to work and actually watching him teach a class multiple times. And then he also hosted like summer camps and I was definitely present for all of those. So I really saw my parents in action. Same thing for my mom. Throughout my whole life, I watched her teach different levels of class settings. And oh my God, she was, um, cause she's retired now, happily. But she, she was a college lecturer, or maybe what you guys call professor here, at a teacher's college. And my school used to be in the district that all her students would come and practice teaching. So growing up, her students used to come and teach my class for like a term or maybe longer. I honestly don't remember. But she would come to my class and invigilate them and like grade them and everything. So I would see the whole process. Her students probably never wanted my class. They probably got nervous when they saw me because anything they messed up with, around me, I would go home and tell my mom about the whole situation and like, oh, this is how the students are doing or whatever, which, so they probably never wanted me in their classes when they were practicing. And then it was kind of awkward, but cool at the same time for my mom to come and grade her students that was teaching my class. You get the point. So, so I wanted to be a teacher in my early ages because I really saw what my parents were doing and I really liked it. it it's really a noble career then as I got older I kind of liked the sciences more and decided to move into a science career with other influences of course the next question is are you religious and this is a very tricky question because I used to be religious I grew up as a Jehovah's Witness and then I want to do a video specifically on this as to how I mentally left this particular religion and yeah so long story short for this video because this is a story for another video I found out that it really wasn't what it painted itself to be overall so I left and then now I'm just in a very tricky weird space religious wise so I'm still trying to iron it out if that makes sense. What are your talents? Talking. <laughs> How would you describe yourself in three words? I would say I am determined, very ambitious. <laughs> I will come up with a world in my head. I've probably never seen anybody do it before, but I will be determined to get there, even though I have no physical example of it happening. Like, I really... I really believe in my intuition. Anyway, determined, ambitious, and I can't think of the third word, you know? But those two are really good. Good. I feel like it really described me. And, um, delusional. <laughs> okay, I don't want to leave delusional, but I said delusional because I really make up a world in my head and follow it. Whether I see nobody do it or not, like, it's, Okay, I really can't think of a third word right now. I want a word that is, I don't want to say I'm romantic, but I love love. 
what's the word for that? Meaning, I love anything to do with love and cuddles and whatever. I'm going to leave it at romantic, but it's not a romantic, like a big surprise, decorate room type of romantic, but I love love and cuddling and all of that. Okay, that's it for the questions. I'm going to wrap up this video now because this recording is at 30 minutes now. Um, and I don't want to bore you. But overall, long story short, if you're here still, please like and subscribe to this channel. I really want to get this channel up to a thousand subscribers because that's what's going to take me to the next step where I want to be. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned for video for vlog two. Subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and thank you for watching. <laughs>